Ha! 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 I'll mark the bro. Has your country been in a car crash that wasn't your fault? Sick and tired of the blame? Well then I'm a Markle the bro. Friends call me Big Mark, but you can call me Markle. The Broly. From the TV. Hey, Big Mark. Apparently, I've never heard that one before, but I thought his um, effort was pretty entertaining. He put a lot of effort into that, and I'm going to watch where he goes. I wouldn't be surprised if he ends up with a late night show one day. He seems to be targeting that, and um, a lot of intelligence in the way he put together the rest of his episode. And I don't mind if somebody's going to rip me off, especially if they're going to do it in an intelligent way. In this particular episode, we're going to be talking more about what makes the firm tick and why I think in some respects we're ahead of the competition. But for me, it's really always been about focusing on us. I don't worry about what other people are doing. I always say to my staff, focus on doing your best, focus on getting the best results, and everything else will follow. And that to me is the real recipe for success. The Broly attorneys are the number one road accident fund attorneys in South Africa. People should choose De Broglio attorneys because De Broglio does not spare any expenses when it comes to ensuring the best settlement on your matter. We have the best experts on our panels making sure that the client's files are properly investigated and always have the best outcomes. People should choose De Broglio attorneys because we constantly give our clients updates. I mean, we're honest and they know exactly what's going on in their matters. And I think, well, personally for myself, if I were to choose an attorney, the first thing you want is an attorney who's honest with you and who gives you updates all the time. And I think that's probably why clients should always come to Debrolio. Firstly, you must, you must sympathize with them, understand their situation, um, see yourself in their shoes, in the same vein, remember that uh, you are a professional. You are here to look after their interest. You exert yourself as much as you can professionally so that you can deliver the results. A particularly interesting case that I've worked on um, is where we settled the matter for 4.3 million rand for, on behalf of a minor where they didn't believe that they had a claim against the RAF. The excitement and happiness in the family's faces were meant the world to me and I'm sure they would recommend us going forward. People should be choosing De Brody attorneys because we're the best. Um, I mean we've taken over files from other law firms before that are in tatters and they normally take I mean, years upon years to finalise whereas we have quite a good system and I mean road accident fund claims always take long but we are quite streamlined and we do get things done properly. Michael. Yeah. I got this matter where the client was a passenger mm -hmm. and he wasn't wearing his safety belt. That's what he stated in his affidavit as well. Sure. And the fund wanted to apply an apportionment. But let me just get this straight, Irvin. I mean, what are you saying? Do they have any evidence? Do they have a specialist who's going to say and be able to the prove... That yeah. admitted that he wasn't wearing a safety belt. I understand that, but that doesn't that. but that doesn't necessarily uh, mean that there has to be a contributory um, uh, apportionment. The contributory that, hmm? Yeah, because there's no evidence that, yeah. that, it, it, that there's a causal connection between not wearing a safety belt sure. and the injuries. Well, then we've got okay. to fight it, right? We, we, we just where you've got yeah. to insist and then just proceed and they've got to prove, they've got to Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Well, I would agree with you. Then that's just going to have to be one that you're going to have to fight and just tell them that we, we're not agreeing to any contributory negligence. I've had a matter where it was a 22-year-old actuarial student. He was in his first year of his articles when he was knocked over while jogging outside of university. From a straight A student to someone who was no longer able to pursue actuarial science, we managed to get him a 9 million rand settlement on his loss of income. But that's his life that will never be given back to him again. We're offering a very good service and uh, I've, even, I've never saw one of the clients being unhappy since I started working here. De Brolio has a very good care factor for clients. 
all their clients. There's not one specific client, but all the clients. They really feel for their clients. They honestly feel how they feel and they try to do the best that they can do. And that's why I suggest Dobrolios to everyone. One of the things I really love about my staff is the serious effort my attorneys always put into being better and driving off the results. I believe we're the leaders in the field. I sincerely believe that in every way. But the way to remain there is to always say, how can we be better tomorrow? And I think that's what we do very, very well. But our emphasis always is do our very best, get the greatest results, and everything else will follow. And 25 years later, I think we have an amazing, amazing name in this field. We don't tout. Our clients come to us because they know we are the best.